Hi, this is Gail from Life and Splatters, and this is a pretty little piece I did this week. I've got a round canvas that I've flooded with a black base coat, and I'm adding four colors of metallic paint. I used two golds, a color shift turquoise, and copper. And I'm adding very little paint to the canvas. And now what I'm going to do is use the Amsterdam formula on the back of an offset spatula. And I'm going to do a, mo a motion that's smearing the black over the surface of these ribbons of color. And that will create the most amazing cells in this piece. And you can see them forming very quickly. I continue to use the palette knife to draw lines through and create some depth and movement in the piece. I love how these metallics glow against the black background. And I'm just working on composition, creating pleasing lines. When we go in to see all the pretty little bits, you'll see what beautiful cells we've managed to create. So this Amsterdam formula is one part Amsterdam black oxide paint mixed to three parts American Fotrol. And that's all it is. You add no water. It's a slightly thicker consistency than the colored paints. So when you smear it over the surface, it stretches over it and the other paints rise up through it to create beautiful, beautiful cells. This technique gives you really great dimension and drama as the metallics glow from the black base coat. And the great big schmears with the Amsterdam formula give you all these beautiful cells, multicolor cells, they're lovely shapes, and they add so much interest to the piece. I think these are becoming my favorite colors to play with. So stay tuned, we're going to do a second piece using all of the same concepts to create a beautiful boulder opal painting. My metallic paints are all mixed one part paint to three parts American Floetrol and a quarter to a half part water depending on the, the thickness of the paint. I want a medium consistency where the ribbon comes off the stick, creates a little mound on top of a mound and then disappears.
Again, I fluttered the canvas with my black paint and put on some ribbons of my metallics. Only four colors, black Amsterdam formula on the back of the offset spatula and watch. Look at the patterning that develops almost immediately after smearing the black Amsterdam formula over the surface of the colors. You only need a very small amount of the Black Amsterdam formula on the back of the spatula, and you want to slide it over top of the colored paints. It's, it takes a little practice, but you want to just glide it over the surface. With the smaller palette knife, you'll see that I am sort of going down deeper under the paints, which brings some of the black up, and that gives all those pretty deep lines that you see. Now, if there's anything about the composition you don't like, you can always add a little more paint. You can take out some paint. It depends. If this one I, I found it was a little bit too, too solid in color, and I wanted to add another bit of interest. So I will uh, do a black smear down uh, through the canvas. And actually, I add a little bit of copper to some gold area and do another great big smear on the top creates more cells. Tilting stretches the cells, brings some more color up from between the ribbons. And I don't mind distorting the cells. Sometimes you want your cells to stay perfectly round. Other times distortion to them can create some interesting shapes. I will be teaching a workshop on Manitoulin Island this weekend at the Cabawong Storytelling Festival and Art Infusion Weekend. And we're going to work on paintings such as this, combining several techniques to create something really dramatic and uh, unique. So looking forward to that, it's gonna be quite an adventure. I'm honored to have been asked. I'm really pleased with the results of this painting. It's very dramatic. There's lots of depth and dimension. Uh, a really lovely flow and the colors just glow. Black background is always very dramatic, but the Amsterdam formula creates these magnificent cells. So I hope you enjoyed this video and that I've inspired you to try something a little different. There's always ways to uh, play with the paint after you've done the original pour. There's schmears are very effective and great big schmears even more fun. So thanks again for coming along this journey with me and uh, take care. Thanks.
Bye.